over 25 and you're not married. To the UK students, that might not be a problem, but here in China, they have mixed feelings. I'm joined here by Rose and Ju. So, what would you be feeling if you were over 25 and you weren't married? Well, truth be told, that for, for Chinese, a leftover woman meaning uh, means women over 30 years old. <laughs> so we don't feel that tr over 25 is just okay. But if, if I'm uh, above 25 or over 30, I won't marry, I won't care. Because uh, I've already been very, very independent and you know you don't need to marry up and try to find someone wealthier to secure your own life. Okay, so you will be happy to have your own job and pay your own way? Yes, absolutely. Is that a traditional view in China? Um, traditional, those parents and old age people won't agree with me, of course, but there are a growing number of women who um, have their uh, own job and uh, very, very high salary, actually, and uh, also highly educated. They agree with me. And I want to tell that while I was um, doing the intern in the PR company, I found oh, maybe 80% of the women's staffs and leftover women, as you said. So it's quite general. And so they're called leftover women. That name implies they are leftover like scraps of food that aren't wanted. So the name is negative. Right. So how do they feel? Because do they feel successful or do they feel left over, or who is the name coming from? Um, well, it's, um, it's just a kind of translation. It's directed, literally translated by Chinese, that we, we call this name. We, we told this kind of woman, Shen Yu. And uh, when you translate Shen Yu into English, then you take leftover women. Well, it's, um, it's quite rude for you mm. to say that way. Yeah. But um, for those women, mainly I think it's from a man's angle. Men use that because they feel intimidated by that. They feel being um, intimidated by their earning power. And so they, they, they prefer to find women with less educate, education than, educated than them. So they feel intimidated by powerful women then? Right, that's true. And it's they that's come up with the, hor the name that's quite insulting. Yes, yes. Okay. And so what about these new women then? Would you choose a woman who was more qualified than you. Would you choose a wife that had a PhD if you didn't have a PhD? There is a saying about the first, mm, first class woman get, I mean, first class men got a second class woman, second class men got a third class woman, but the first class woman only got a fifth class of the men. So I think it doesn't matter about the men who have a really high, scary PhD wife. It doesn't matter at all because um, usually people won't judge a man successful by his mate. But usually people will judge a woman is that she rightfully married or did she have a decent husband or something. So it's really kind of awkward and embarrassing to talk about this, but really men don't really care about what his wife um, is high, high qualified or something. Yeah, I just wanted to know you, whether, I mean, would you care about, I mean, if your wife is higher, much more higher educated than you? So what? I'm his husband. I am her <laughs> husband. Da, 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 da. So um, let's talk about the age problem. So can you accept that your wife is older than you? Well, as I know that a lot of people will call this uh, sister, elder sister and little brother's love. But actually, I don't think it's kind of be a taboo about the older society. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes an elder woman could know more about men, you more know about how was the men, their requirements, or what they think in the relationship. So if they can fit themselves into the whole relation, I think it will be okay. okay it, so it won't be any indecent relationship. Okay, so... You, you still think it's acceptable? Well, I can't argue with that. Okay, <laughs> okay, thank you. So you may think it's acceptable. Well, what would your parents think? Uh, 
I think we are in this modern civilization, so parents' opinion won't be the most vital point about a marriage. So would your parents approve if you had a wife who is much more qualified than you? And if she went out to work and you stayed at home? Well, first, even though they, she's more qualified than me, like right now, but it doesn't mean I cannot overrun her in the past years. Maybe so you want to overrun her? Well, I think this may be a, a motivation about my um, further development. Okay. And what, what would your parents say? <laughs> they were just <laughs> saying the times and times again about the whole um, education thing. Like, look at someone else. Sh she or her is better than you, so you may want to catch up. And to Rose, what would your parents be saying to you if you were single at 30? Oh, they will, they will be very sad about me, very. I think now I really want to pursue my own career, or do my own things and don't think about this marriage. And But if if I'm uh, 30 that year, I kind of surrender to the reality. <laughs> you know, that parents always talk about, maybe well, I won't go home, because every time I go home and chat with them, and maybe they will talk about the topic. Yes. Yeah. But you would be happy in yourself with your career successful as long as you're, you know, comfortable and doing yes. well. A and it depends on the Romans and w when it bump into me. You can't, you can't arrange everything. And I, I arrange my my marriage in, in thirty or twenty eight. No, you can't do that. Is that a common opinion? I think it common happened around my friends. Your friends maybe across the whole of China. Co no, maybe you can introduce more. Uh, I, I think girls in campus, okay. yeah, I think girls in campus have, have that kind of independent idea. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.